Hey there. In honor of the fifth anniversary of Fact of Life number 31, which would be this book right here, I'm going to read a little bit from it and then wish my fun little book a happy anniversary. So this scene starts out with, um, it's in school and my main character, Katima McFlynn or Kat, is watching a couple that she is kind of envious of. So I'm going to read a little bit about what she's thinking and feeling about that. Libby and Mitch were seniors to my junior status, both athletes. Libby had lived in my neighborhood about three blocks over since I was in fifth grade, but it might as well have been 30 miles for all we saw of each other. Now, I try not to make assumptions about people because I hate when they make assumptions about me. Like I'm tall, so I must be a good basketball player. I am, but that's beside the point. It's the assumption that pisses me off. And my parents have always told me not to take things at face value, not to judge the depth of the ocean by the color of its surface. And I really try not to do that. But for some reason, when it came to Libby Giles, I couldn't. Maybe because she was so completely opposite of me. I don't know. I do know that when I saw her the first day of my freshman year, it was like someone had shined one of those glaring spotlights on us and said, look, beautiful sophomore girl over there, freshman freak of nature over here. And I guess if you judge by the usual standards, that was true. I looked down the hallway. Libby and Mitch had broken free of the group and were now only a few feet from me. She was wearing tight jeans and a v-neck shirt stretched over her C-cups. Her eyeliner was heavy, rimming her eye before curving dramatically up toward her brow. I wondered if she'd noticed me. I wondered why I just wondered that, why I cared. But I did. Because there's a difference between being anonymous, my choice, and invisible, someone else's choice. Libby Giles made me feel invisible, and not even just your average, every day, you're a little bit transparent, but I can still see your outline invisible, but completely obliterated. And the weird thing was, she didn't even do anything to make me feel this way. She just had this power to invisibilize me. I tried to catch her eye as she got closer, but she had only eyes for Mitch Lowry. They kissed as they passed me. I watched. Hey, if you're into PDA, you must be expecting an audience. Other people turned away, I guess to give them their privacy. It's our hallway too, I wanted to shout. But I just watched and wondered what it would be like to, to kiss a guy in the middle of the hallway for everyone else to see. So that's Fact of Life number 31 and happy anniversary, five years of wonderfulness. And I hope you guys will check it out. It's an awesome book. Bye.